Hey guys, welcome to the faceless tutorial on time value of money. This is your tech TA Taehyun Kim. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, tutorial will be from the beginning to the end faceless. And uh, for some of you out there, uh, it's, you're really missing out much because I'm so good looking. And uh, for those of you also who have wondered whether I am a, a male or a female, uh, as you can tell from my voice, uh, I am a male. And uh, but uh, on the flip side, uh, it's okay because I'm I'm happily married, so uh, you're not losing much uh, on the faceless aspect of the tutorial. All right, so let's begin. For this tutorial, you will need a financial calculator. Uh, this is HP 10B2 Plus. It's the one required on your syllabus. Alternatively, you can use uh, HP 12C or a TIBA2 Plus. Uh, they all work the same. Uh, it's just a matter of pressing different uh, different buttons at a different time. But uh, they basically do the same thing. Uh, you just need to find the right manual uh, if you have any other types of uh, financial calculators. But again, like I said, we're going to be covering the topic using HP 10B2+. So what is the time value of money? It means that a dollar today is worth differently from a dollar tomorrow. So you can buy some stuffs with a dollar today. In the future, you won't be able to buy that same stuff using tomorrow's dollar. And surprisingly, this is not because of, infl of inflation. Even without inflation, the dollar value will change from today to tomorrow because of interest. But that goes beyond the scope of this course, so I will let you figure out what that is, and we'll just uh, continue to focus on the interest aspect of the time value of money. For today's tutorial, I will cover four topics. First is future value calculation, and then present value calculation, and then calculations of annuities. Annuities are a series of cash flows that are equal in amount for a fixed period. And then lastly, I will cover simple NPV calculation. NPV stands for net present value, so it's different amounts, a series of different amount of uh, cash flows within a fixed period that you want to calculate uh, the present value of. So the first topic is future value. Suppose you have $1,000 and the annual interest rate is 10% and the interest, interest is paid annually, so once a year. How much will you have in year two is the question. So say at year zero, you have $1,000, and again, your interest is 10%, and in decimals, that would be 0.1. So in year one, you're going to have that $1,000 invested with one, which is the principal, $1,000, plus the interest rate. That would be times 1.1. So you will end up with $1,100 after year one. In year two, you're going to have, sorry, $1,100 times 1.1 again. And I don't know if you can tell by my name, but I'm, uh, I'm Asian, so I can do this in my head. But uh, if you can't, please do use your calculator. Alternatively, you can use the year zero, and just instead of multiplying it twice, you can use a power and still get the same answer. So at the end of the year two, you will have $1,210. Now this may seem simple, uh, but it is tedious and as you can see, you will see in the NPV calculation, as the amounts uh, get amounts differ from one period to another, and you have a longer period, then you know it becomes kind of complicated, or rather tedious. So this is where the financial calculator comes in. So before we begin, uh, let me just give you a very brief tutorial on the calculator. Uh, so all the white uh, white alphanumeric codes uh, on the face of the buttons, uh, you can just press 
to get to use the, those buttons. And then uh, the ones that are in blue, uh, you must shift, uh, blue shift, blue up shift, and then hit it to use that. And obviously red, same thing. You want to hit red and that button to use the red uh, functions. So uh, before you take on uh, any any uh, questions, uh, you have to clear the memory because uh, you don't want the previous input to affect your current uh, problem. So in order to do that, you hit blue, C mem clear memory C, and one for to do, to erase all the time value of money uh, memory stuff uh, memory input. And later when we do NPV calculation, we want to do up C zero for cash flow clear. You have to see that uh, message, otherwise uh, you probably didn't do it correctly. So see that message, that time value of money is cleared or cash flow is cleared. You have to see that uh, message before you proceed. There's a thousand dollars on your hand right now and you want to deposit it and uh, get interest. There's an annual payment of interest, one per year, and then the interest rate is 10% per year. And so what is the future value? So from here, we know that from the calculator, we know that N equals two, because we're getting paid twice, and interest per year is 10%. Present value equals 1,000 and payment per year equals two. Sorry, payment per year equals one. And what we want to figure out is what the future value is. So you basically enter all that in. First you clear the memory, enter two n and then interest per year. This is not uh, in terms of decimals. This is just percentage point. So 10% per year. And you currently have $1,000 PV. And you're going to get paid once a year. So that's one payment per year. Red shift, down shift, and then P slash YR. And then once you entered all the parameters, you can just hit the button that you want to and you want an answer for. In this case, it's future value. And there it is, 1,210. As you can see, there's a negative uh, sign in front of it. These are the directions of cash flows. At first, we entered 1,000, so you're, you're uh, depositing 1,000. Or, you know, from the bank's pers perspective, the bank is receiving $1,000 from you. And two years from now, the bank must pay you $1,210. That's why there's a negative sign on it. It's the other uh, cash flow going into the in the other direction. All right, so uh, to see a more complicated example, first let's clear the memory. We don't really have to clear the memory because we're going to use the same uh, parameters. But uh, just to remind you that to clear the memory before you do any calculations, I did it anyway. So again, it's a uh, let's say now we're the interest is going to be compounded on a monthly basis. So if that were the case, interest per year is still 10% and the number of payments would be 24. So over two years, you'll be paid, you know, on a monthly basis. And payments per year is now 12. So with that, let's do 24 and 10% interest per year and still the PV is $1,000 and now there's 12 payments per year and let's see what the future value is. The future value is $1,220.39. Pretty easy huh? So we've covered future value so to, uh, future value is how much you will get uh, or how much that your uh, money is worth in a future date compared to what you have now. Now present value is uh, completely backwards. So say you have, you're going to receive $1,000 two years from now. How much is that 
worth in today's dollars is the objective. So basically it's looking at the same thing but uh, pressing a different button. Clear the memory. Let's assume the exact same uh, same parameters. So 10% uh, interest and you're getting uh, compound 10% compound interest and you're uh, making payments once a year. Say you have a sorry, thousand dollars, and that's the future value. So you have hit uh, FB, and you have two payments, two N, and it's ten percent per year, and the payment is once per year. Sorry, so you go one P slash YR. And you want to know what the present value is. So hit PV. That will be $826.45. So the only thing that changed from previous, uh, from the previous uh, question was before you entered 1,000 in PV, now you're entering 1,000 FB. So a $1,000 two years from now is equivalent to $826.45. For, uh, in today's dollars. So the next topic is uh, annuities. Uh, annuities again is uh, having the same payment uh, over a, a fixed period. Look, kind of looks like this. So say uh, we're receiving $500 uh, every six months. So $500 here, $500 at the end of year one, and so on until the end of year five. So that would be 10 payments. And say the interest rate is 6% you know, per year and made semi-annually. All right, so uh, the way to do this is the calculation. Make sure you clear the memory and now you can see that it's cleared. So it's going to be $500 payment, so 500 PMT and you're going to have 6% uh, was it? Yeah, 6% interest rate, so 6 interest rate per year and then you're going to have five, uh, 2 payments per year, so 2 payments per year, P slash YR and you're gonna have five years. So five times P per YR, per YR. So that's a total of 10 payments. And then you can just hit PV to get the present value calculation. So the present value would be $4,265.10. And All right, so for our final chapter, we're going to cover uh, NPV analysis. So net present value is uh, for any kind of uh, cash flow stream, you can calculate what the present value equivalent is. And that's called net present value, NPV. And so uh, here's uh, an example. So you invest uh, at the beginning at year zero. You invest $10,000 on a project. Then the project, uh, you know, does pretty well the first and second year. It generates about twenty-five hundred dollars per year. And then in the third year, it hits the peak and generates thirty-five hundred dollars of uh, a profit, uh, in, at the end of the third year. And all, but on the fourth year, you know, the fad kind of dies and you earn a thousand dollars. So uh, looking at this cash uh, cash flows. What is the net present value for you? Like, would you be interested in investing in this project or not? And the assumption is there's an 8% annual interest rate uh, compounded annually. So uh, at this rate, is it, does it make sense to invest in the project? And so from using your calculator, uh, make sure you clear the cash flow memory. That's uh, blue C0. Right, and then enter in the parameters. So it's 8% uh, per year. So 8 I slash YR. And then uh, we're assuming one payment per year. So 1 
red p slash yr. All right, and uh, the way to enter uh, cash flow, you have to enter in all the streams uh, separately, unless uh, they're kind of equal consecutively. So let's do this. So we're we're we want to enter ten thousand uh, negative ten thousand, and then hit plus slash minus that makes it negative and then hit CFJ that's the first cash flow just saw a CF uh, zero so that's the first cash flow and then you want to enter in uh, 2500 for two years so that would be 2500 input for two periods cash flow J and that's uh, the cash flow one and then it's 3,500, 3,500 cash flow J, and then 1,000 cash flow J. All right, so we've entered all these cash flows, and uh, you just want to make sure uh, to verify it before you calculate NPV. So to check uh, the CFJ input, you hit RCL and CFJ. And if you press uh, plus or minus, you can go back and forth. So the first uh, zeroth uh, cash flow is negative 10,000, and it's for one period. And the next cash flow is 2,500, it's for two periods, 3,500 for one period, and 1,000 for one period. And you, you can, as you can see, CF4 is blank. That means there's nothing uh, beyond that. You can also go back using minus. So to get out of it, uh, you just hit uh, C, clear. And then uh, what you want to do is to look at the NPV. It's uh, underneath PRC. So do the red NPV. And the net present value for this project is negative $2,028.40. So you're actually going to lose money with the, these given assumptions and these kind of uh, cash flow projections. You're going to lose money, $2,000 in today's dollar terms, $2,028.40. So uh, it's better not to take, uh, take on this project because it is NPV negative. All right, so that concludes uh, my faceless tutorial on the time value of money. Uh, if you want to no further, uh, you can look at your HP calculator uh, manual. The first three topics, uh, FV, PV, and annuity are uh, in chapter six, and for a more detailed cash flow analysis uh, to do NPV, you can look at chapter eight. And if you want to practice further uh, with some more examples, you can go to the HP's website. I've uh, shortened it using bit.ly, so the address is bit.ly slash 1e capital X capital Z N L I. Again, it's uh, bit.ly slash 1e capital X capital Z N L I. And you will uh, find a lot of examples uh, from, from HP's website. All right, hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, Hope you do well in uh, the upcoming class on time value of money. Thanks.